Okay guys, hello and welcome to another full pack video here on the channel. That's right you guys, you heard me right, it is a full pack video. We are doing this $2 Three Stooges ticket from the Ohio Lottery. This was acquired via the artist formerly known as Millionaire Book Scratcher and I believe Digitonic? Um, I believe that was his Ohio, his Ohio contact, so thank you to those guys. I've had this for a little while now and I'm just trying to get it done so I don't forget about it and uh, miss the opportunity to send these in. So, this is a full pack, see a little plastic there, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up, tear all these tickets apart, and we will come back as per protocol. Alright you guys, welcome back from that cut. Uh, there's a lot of tickets here, so I went ahead and just turned the camera off to go ahead and tear them off. So there are a total of 100 tickets in here, so this is a $200 pack. So I'm thinking we're probably going to get somewhere between like 80 and 100 bucks back out of this. Just a guess. I haven't really played. I've never played a full pack from Ohio. In fact, this is the first full pack I've played from out of state. No, it's not. I've played some Georgia ones. What the hell am I talking about? Um, don't mind me. I'm just losing my mind here. So for this Three Stooges ticket, if you match any of your numbers to any of the winning numbers, win the prize shown below that matching number. It's actually next to that matching number, so somebody didn't word the ticket right. Uh, reveal the little two finger poke thing, win 20 bucks automatically. Reveal a mallet to win all 10 prizes automatically. Overall odds on these little lovely metallic tickets are 1 in 4.34. So I'm thinking we're probably going to get about 24 winning tickets in here. So um, let's see how we do, guys. We're just going to try and fly through this a bit. We're going to zoom in a little. A little too much. There we go. I do love the Three Stooges. They're one of my all time favorite uh, shows when I was younger. Oh, these are sticky. I thought these would scratch easier. These are sticky scratchers. 6 and 13. Alright, ticket 0 0. Not a winner. Not off to an auspicious start this pack. Can win up to $20,000, but I doubt we're going to see that happen. 12 and 9. I do love these metallic. These are actually nice metallic tickets. I don't know how well that's showing up on the camera, but I love, I love shiny metallic. There's lucky number one and two. I like that combination because it usually wins. All right, there we go. Lucky number one has come through for us. Make one lucky again. Two dollar break even, but hey, we're on the board. I will take it. We'll tally everything up at the end, guys. Of course. 3 and 12. Turn a little misaligned there. Nothing. Uh, find a. Stick them like that, maybe? Sorry, I'm just trying to finagle my desk here. 19 and 12. It would be nice to hit all the little symbols here. I love when I can do a full pack and show off all the different symbols you can find. 9 and 18. Second guy, sorry, I'm just messing with something here. You know, a true professional in showbiz would take care of these things before we start the video, but that's the old Captain Cardsworth way for you, right? Okay. 19 and lucky number one again. Ouch. But I mean, the odds are 1 in 4 point something, so I guess I can't expect a ton of winners. 10 and 13. 13, there we go. We got a winner down here towards the bottom. Woo, there we go. Look at that, guys. A $20 winner. Nice. Nice indeed, especially on a $2 ticket. I got some of our $2 tickets here. What are the odds on our $2 ticket? 1 in 4.45. So the odds on our, this $2 ticket are actually better. 
So about average, a little better. Four and two. I like this little bit down here at the bottom, over four and a half million dollars in ten to one hundred dollar prizes. So hopefully we can hit, you know, a nice hundred dollar winner in here. That would be cool. Sixteen and seven. I do like the real nice bold numbers. They really stand out from that white background behind there. And I love the multiple artworks on the ticket. There's five different arts if you haven't noticed. There are five different little pictures. Hey, there's 13 again. We've got a winner. Two bucks. All right. Very nice. But I always like uh, tickets where there's a lot of different art. Normally you see that pretty much exclusively on $1 tickets, at least here in Missouri. Sometimes it's just different colors. Uh, sometimes it's actual outright different pictures. But... They've got it on this $2 ticket, and why wouldn't you? I mean, the Three Stooges, I think it's all in public domain now. I think you can do whatever you want with their... At least the broadcast rights are in public domain. That's why you see so much of it. Uh, 20 and 2. And we've got a 20. There's a winner. And a 2. Okay. $2 and $2. All right, so 4 bucks. Nice. Making decent time on this, guys. Lucky number one. And 14. Oh. So I wish the... I know Missouri Lottery did a Three Stooges ticket some years ago. It'd be nice if they did one again. Missouri Lottery seems kind of iffy sometimes on putting out licensed property tickets. You know, we've got the Monopoly ones, they did a Home Depot. 7 and 18. I always love it when you get, like, you're looking for 7 and 18, and then you find a 17 and an 8, which is sort of like the opposite of what you're actually looking for, or so it seems. 18 and 9. There it is again, 8 and 19. Okay. Let's see if I put the thing up there like that. Maybe, yeah. Sorry, I just... I've discovered that the stand that I have my camera mounted to does not... Eat, the legs are not evenly lengthed, so... When I press the thing up against the wall... 19 is a winner. Alrighty. $2 break even. So when I press the legs up against the wall, since it's not evenly, they're not even, it ends up being kind of cattywampus. Um, so I kind of have to like move things at an angle to get them to look straight on camera. 9 and 6. Come on, back to back winners. Okay, well we are already 20 tickets in, over 20 tickets in, so we are already a fifth of the way through here. 3 and 17. 17, we've got a winner. And it's a $5 winner. Okay, here we go. Always better than a break even. You know, I would take a bunch of $3 winners if it was, you know, better than break evens. Eight and four, and sorry, my hand is not cooperating. It doesn't like all these books of tickets. I am not millionaire book scratcher. Eight, we've got back to back winners. Look at that, guys. Back to back winners. It's a two dollar break even. So, we're actually doing okay on the winners so far, I think. Had that twenty dollar winner earlier. That might be our biggest winner in the pack, for all I know. Eleven and twenty. And I like that the ticket numbers don't go up to some god-awful, outrageous number. Because there are some states that I'm sure have, like, they go up to, like, 40 on their $2 tickets. 
Which, I mean, if the odds are still the same, then I guess it really doesn't matter what numbers they are. But it just seems like... It, it just makes... It gives you that, you know, illusion that, like, hey, you know, you're looking for a lot more numbers to possibly match. But if the overall odds are still the same, it doesn't really matter. But it's the whole... Um, you know, when you're looking for like up to 20, you know, you're thinking, hey, I only have to match two numbers out of 20. And but if it goes up to like 40, then it's like, oh, two out of 40. What? Well, that complicates things. 14. Could we have a manual win all here? No. I always get excited and I almost never get the manual win all when they have that winner in the first spot. Another $2 break even. What I say worth looking for about maybe, tw we're thinking about 180 to 100 bucks back. And maybe um, 24 to 25 winners. 13 and 4. Just based off the odds, that's about what we're going to expect. Nine and two. Eleven and eighteen. Nope. I am going a little fast on these, but there's really not much to look for. And it's all in the same area. Two and nine. I'm trying to fit this in with a camera battery that needs to be charged and trying to get this done before I have to leave for work. 4 and 16. So we've hit a block here of no winners. So I'm just going to shake my arm and get the feeling back into it. Must have slept on it funny. 10 and 11. There's a 10. We've got a winner. Alrighty. Another $2 break even. So what do you guys think? Which which ticket do you think is going to have more winners? There's five different colors here. I think it's like red, blue, green, orange, and purple, maybe? There's like red, green, blue, I don't know. Just which ticket do you think is going to have the most winners? Tell me about the pictures. Like, you know, which one do you think will end up having more multiple winners on it? I'm thinking it's going to be the green one. But I could be wrong. Ten and one. Okay. I still have not seen the finger pokey hand symbol, nor have we seen the win all symbol yet. And in fact, we've only had one ticket where we had multiple winners on it. 14 and 6. 14. And a 6, right as I was complaining about no multiple winners. 2 and 2, so there's a $4 winner. Double up. And we are, we are quickly coming up on the halfway point, guys, so... Should be doing pretty good. This should be a fairly short video. At least as far as full packs go. 12, we got a winner. 19, we've got a winner. Another double up. back winners 34 35 no okay
Okay, we are 40 out of 100 tickets in, so we are almost halfway. Making good time, guys. Dad out there talking to the dog. Seven and eighteen. All right, now this was the ticket I tore as I was uh, ripping these apart. So I'm kind of hoping this one's not a winner, just because I don't want it to cause any issues when I send these back. Uh, Seventeen and nineteen. All right, good. Not a winner. So anytime you tear up, anytime you tear that uh, special barcode on the front, you run a risk of it being problematic to cash. I've got one in my drawer that I need to take to the lottery office because they're gonna have to actually. They've actually told me like we'll have to have the security department analyze it and make sure it's valid. 13, there's a winner. Two bucks. Because I uh, scratched through, I took it to the store to redeem it, and it, uh, it wouldn't, I forgot to scratch off that particular, I forgot to scratch off the barcode. And the clerk, you know, wouldn't give me a coin. 10 and 9, there's a 9. And there's a 10. Ooh, five dollars and five dollars. So there's a ten dollar winner. Cool, cool. Um, but she wouldn't give me a coin to scratch it, so I had to use a key, the keys in my pocket. And I ended up scratching. I ended up tearing a little bit of the barcode off when I was trying to scratch with my keys. And it won't scan now. Twenty and seven. There's a twenty. Good for a two dollar break even. So back to back winners again. Actually, that was three winners in a row, guys. 44, 45, 46. So that was three winning tickets in a row. That's fun. Can we make it four winners in a row? 14. Yes, that is four and 11. That is four winners in a row, guys. Two and two. So four. How about five? Can we go for the five winners in a row? On $2 tickets, anything can happen. 9 and 12. 9, yes. Four winners in a row, guys. And a 12. Yes, look at that. Four winners in a row. Was that five? Did I say four or five? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, okay. That was five winners in a row, guys. Five winners in a row. Where's Let's Scratch when you need him? I'm playing tickets from his state. Good old Let's Scratch. 17 and 3. How about six winners in a row? Alright, I guess our streak had to come to an end. So five winners in a row. Speaking of Let's Scratch, anybody here heard from him? Uh, I'm usually the one that hears from him before other people, but he hasn't answered my emails. And uh, AR Platinum, I don't think, has heard from him. You know, we've, we've all kind of wondered where he went. I know in... Uh, like one of his last videos, he mentioned that he was more than likely getting transferred to Michigan for his job. Um, he said like they didn't know, he was saying like they didn't necessarily know when they were going to send him and uh, how long he was going to be there. They basically were like, you might be going for as little as a day, you might be going for, you know, a month or two. So, um... I'm assuming that's just what happened, you know, that he, he got transferred up there and said to focus on dealing with all the stuff that comes with having to move across the country for your job and try to take care of your family in the process. So we definitely wish him all the best. I say we, I'm the only person here, but, you know, all you guys in the comments who know Let's Scratch and watch his videos, I'm sure you guys wish him well too. One of these days I'm sure he'll come back on here.
Or maybe he'll check his email and get back to me. I don't know. We'll see. Because he, he said he didn't want to... Um, he said he was trying to do a video every day. It was his New Year's resolution. And that kind of fell apart because of that. Okay, nothing. Get the scratcher dust off there. So we've already passed the halfway point now, guys. So how about this? Comment in the comments. Who is your favorite of the Three Stooges? Pretty simple comment, guys. Uh, if you don't like the Three Stooges, if you've ever, I mean, you probably wouldn't be watching this if you're not a fan of the Three Stooges, I guess. But um, if you don't know anything about the Three Stooges, that's Mo, that's Curly, and that's Larry. So uh, there you go. Now there were there were quite a few Three Stooges. There weren't just those three. Uh, the third stooge, it was always Moe and Larry. There was always Moe and Larry, but their third stooge, he, he rotated, depending on certain things. Um, started off with Curly. Actually, it started off as their third brother, Shemp. They're, these two are brothers, this guy's not. Um, but when they were on stage, it was actually Moe, Curly, and, or it was Moe, Larry, and Shemp. And, uh, when they went on TV, they brought in Curly over Shemp. 19 and 5. Nah, now we're paying. There's a 19. $2 winner. But there were... Um, sorry, I thought my dad was coming down the hall. But some health issues forced Curly to leave the, the group, and they brought in Shemp to fill his spot. And then when Shemp started having health issues, um, they brought in some other guys too. There was a, a Joe, then there was another guy they brought in named Curly Joe. So, um, who's your favorite Three Stooge guy? It doesn't even have to be Mo, Larry, or Curly. It could be one of those side ones, those other third Stooges. I respect your opinion, even if it's wrong. Said I always was really partial to Curly, as many people were. Okay, we are now 60 tickets in, so we are over halfway there, guys. Ah. Alright, let's try that. 8 and 15. We have not gotten either of those symbols yet. It'd be nice to get a win-all in here. I think a win-all would probably be like a $20 winner. Unless they're going to put a 1 under each of these, which is possible. 14, there's a winner. 2 bucks. So I got a hair in my guy I just it was like a hair stuck in my nose or something. Eleven and nine. Ooh, got a nine off the bat. Again, no manual win all. Come on, guys. Bottle cap, a shoe, a bar of gold, anything. Eight and five. Well, there's a five, and again, I ruined the intrigue of whether it was going to be a manual win all. Five dollars. All right, though, that's cool. A little five dollar prize. Sixteen and ten. I think they do little letter codes in Ohio too, I guess. I thought they did. I thought I was seeing tick letters down here, but there's an H up there. So, I guess they still do a little three letter code for their prizes. Five and eight. Eight 
Yeah, see there's a W down there. Seventeen and twelve. Nope. Mm. Sorry. Full packs cramp up your hand pretty quick. Especially when the scratcher is kind of sticky and you got to put a little more effort into it. Lucky number one and three. Alright, ticket 70 guys, we are coming up fast on the end. 15 and 11. 15, there's a winner. Two dollars. It's going to be a lot of two dollars. Of course, that's to be expected. Whenever you're playing a full book of anything, you're going to have, it's almost guaranteed you're going to have more break-evens than anything. And 20. And I say almost a guarantee because when I did the full pack of winter green ticket from Georgia, um, it was not uh, break even. In fact, I didn't get a single break even in that pack. 16 and 20. 16, 20, 2, and 2, so 4. But I was going to say, I didn't get a single break even in the winter green ticket. I think I had. How many winners did I have? I had like seven or eight winners, and neither and none of them were uh, ten dollar break evens. They were all fifteen or twenties. Thirteen and seven, and there are and there were break even tickets in that game. So there's a thirteen. There's a winner. My little winner stack is growing pretty nicely over here. So we might end, I don't know how many is in there though, I haven't bothered to stop and count them yet. 11 and 4. 4. Be nice to hit one of those two little symbols. Always nice to see a symbol instead of a number. 8 and 6. fall asleep before I go to work. That's not encouraging. 10 and 19. Okay. Okay, this is the 80th ticket in the pack. 6 and 16. So you figure with 20 tickets to go, overall odds 1 and 4, so we're thinking maybe like 5 more winners. 4 or 5 more winners. 11 and 16. kind of surprising now that I think about it they didn't put a pie symbol on here 13 there's a 13 given how many times they threw pies how many pie gags there were you'd think they'd have a pie symbol on there
All right, we're coming up on the end. Just running out of chances to find them symbols. Okay, I think we just got 10 left to go. Yep, just got 10 tickets left, guys. We are almost there. Stay with me just a couple more minutes. And 11 there, ooh, last little spot there at the bottom. $2 break even. Try to sneak a winner in there when I'm not looking and not paying attention. 18 and 6. There's a 6. Ooh, oh. Damn it, I did it to myself again. <laughs> oh, man. Never mind. False alarm. That's not a winner. Was, we were looking for 16, not 6. Damn. Done that to myself before, too. Uh, two and three. I did that in the Buried Treasure book. I scratched, uh, I was supposed to scratch, I think, the ruby symbol, and I ended up scratching the emerald symbol. And the prize at the end of that row turned out to, and it gave me the, it completed a row, and at the prize at the end of that row was um, like a hundred bucks. And turned out I wasn't I didn't stretch the right gemstone. And uh, that was a big tease. Eight and four. What the hell is outside my window making noise? Is there a big frog out there? So always pay attention. The moral of the story, gentlemen and ladies. Always pay attention to what you're looking for. <laughs> Take that to the lottery office, be like, yes, I'd like my $100. For what? For this winner. That's not a winner. 13 and 19. Yeah, we kind of paid for that five winner in a row cluster. We haven't had quite so many winners here at the end. All right. Nine and eight. There's an eight. Two dollar break even. All right, guys, last two. Let's try and uh, go out with a bang here. The biggest one we've had so far was twenty. Let's see, can we close out with a winner? We did not start with a winner. 16 and 2. Alright, nope. And we didn't get either of the symbols. We did not get the instant $20 or the hammer symbol for all 20. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Count these up real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, so we actually got more winners, one more winner than the math, actually two more winners than the math really said. We are probably going to statistically get about 24 winners. We ended up with 26. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here, guys. Uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 
26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56. All right, so that's all the $2 prizes. We're at 56, uh, 76, uh, 86, 96. So $96, so just under the 100 back that I figured we would hit. I, like I said, guys, I said we get somewhere between 20 and 100, or not 20 and 100, um, 80 and 100. So it's somewhere between 80 and $100 back, and we got 96, which is not bad. Um, not quite, just a little under half, but I think that was what happened with my $2 Monopoly book that I did. It was just under half back. I think it was like 128 out of 300. Or 128 out of 300, so just a little under half back on that. So 96 out of 200 is not terrible, and I didn't pay for it, so free 96 bucks. So uh, there you go, guys. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. Feel free to comment in the comments if I did. As always, I did kind of fly through this one. Um, look, we're gonna come in at under 40 minutes here, which is good. Good for a two, uh, good for a full pack video. So there you go, guys. That is the two dollar Three Stooges ticket from the Ohio Lottery. Shout out to Mr. Ohio Lottery himself. Let's scratch if he's listening, wherever he might be, whether it's in Ohio, Michigan, wherever. Uh, big thank you to all of you guys who are watching right now. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Scratcher content every day. Big thank you to the artist formerly known as Millionaire Book Scratcher and Digitonic for getting this book for me. And until next time, guys, good luck, have fun, and happy scratching.